what's going on so today we are going to build the base in my latest video a couple of people asked for a build video people wanted to know how to do the floor stack and some of the pixel gaps so here we are we're gonna go ahead and get started this video is just gonna be on the core of the base and I'll make uh, probably two more videos on the other parts because it's a uh, it's a big base so the first thing you're gonna want to do is place these three square foundations so that you can set up the triangle foundations for the core of your base and what I do is I stand on this stone texture and walk into this corner and back to get my pixel gap height ready and then try and get the bottom of your screen parallel with the foundation look up to there so it doesn't clip onto that hold all look so that you can strafe back and forth without moving your mouse at all and not worry about it place your first one jump to reset your height and then clip your second one into the first one as far as it'll go take your time here because it'll fail if you get it wrong that looks pretty good and then get your floor stack height foundation just by crouching and clipping it back in as far as it'll go. Now, check that you did it right. If this is red, then you did it wrong. And you'll have to do it again. It may take a few tries, but once you get it right, you just go ahead and place this half wall and this half wall to check that your gap is going to work. You can see it's definitely there but to test it you're going to want to go ahead and place your tc and you can use a box to make sure you got the height right go ahead and upgrade it to hqm and if you can access it you're good to go if you can't you need to start over now just go ahead and hqm tc i didn't do that yet and that's because what you're going to want to do is build your floor stack out to there and upgrade it so you don't lose that height of foundation and then you're gonna place your floor stack in here before you seal it like that and then you can upgrade all that and seal in your TC there you go so now that you have that done this is just your top part of your pixel gap your offset height I like to build that out over here just upgrade it to wood so that you have a while before it decays and then get rid of it just in case you need to redo something so now you're gonna want to build out that square that square low low triangle and this is your footprint the other thing by placing these early this won't decay if you don't place the walls then this isn't connected now we're going to go ahead and offset for the bunker leading into core to do that you're going to want to build a square and then nine triangles and back with squares replacing this top triangle and make sure that you connect it to this and to know that you did it right this stone texture is in the bottom left and then you can upgrade that and delete and then do it again by double offsetting it you're going to mess with the stability to indicate you connected it correctly but now you just take a window frame place it like so and delete your build out now just connect those and those and you can place a window here to check you should not be able to place this triangle however what you can do is upgrade a triangle connected to that so that you don't accidentally attach it there you should still not be able to place this triangle to place that triangle it's going to be a door frame placed from the offset foundation and then a triangle there that is either 10 or 11 percent stability go ahead and remove it and you can see we're all good now you just place another window there and 
we're going to get into our pixel app loot rooms. So we'll start with this side, just place a triangle here and upgrade these. And you're going to offset these two triangles, 11 foundations. The way you're going to do that, make a little half moon, and then a square, and then go out 11 triangles. And back with squares. Make sure this last triangle is connected to the offset. Oh. Yep. That stone texture in the bottom left is what's telling it's connected. And then you just can go ahead and test that. And it's pretty easy to loot. This one works. And next we are going to offset this side. You can see I can access this one. It's a little bit tougher than the other one, but it still works. At this point, I would upgrade your bunker, like so. You can then HQ it from the inside. All right, same thing on this side. Go ahead and upgrade it that one and then offset these two and you test that they both work that one's easy for whatever reason this side is usually harder Now, in the event that one of these doesn't work, like this one right now is being very difficult, what you're going to want to do is just offset this. A little bit more. Okay, so to get that one, I had to add on, just go back out and go one more square out, three triangles and a square, and build back. Now that you have these done, Upgrade them. You can upgrade that. And you can upgrade that. Add in roof triangles. Connected to the outside. To add your frames here and here, what you're going to want to do is add those half walls in. And then you should be able to place them. And then you can just break the half walls. Go ahead and connect your roofs. And here, make sure you still can't place that connect to the offset triangle. But you will be able to place this one. So make it a floor frame. Upgrade it. Still can't place that one. And now you're just going to want to go ahead and add these triangles like so and it should also be lower same thing over here attach it to this one that one can be high and finally over here And this is what your core should look like right now. Now, just go through and add your walls to your core. If you get a too close to another building message, just aim lower. Once that's all upgraded, go ahead and add your triangle floors, the ceiling. You can just 
go ahead and upgrade to stone. Now to turn this into a functional little core, just add walls up here. Throw on your door and there you go. I recommend HQMing these and then adding boxes like so. Access all of these. Be sure to lock all of these. But once you have them all locked up, you can place that. I like to HQ it. You could sheet metal it. I sheet metal that as well. And I sheet metal that. As long as those are locked, it is very expensive to get in there and there and here. I tend to armor these three foundations. That looks good and makes it harder to foundy wipe you. Then just place this. Make sure your bunker still works. It does. And place these frames around it. And just be sure not to upgrade that. You can add doors as you want, and these will become loot rooms too. You now have two pixel gap loot bunkers, a pixel gap TC, and a god bunker. It's also floor stacked, but you're going to have to add in that layer. So we'll do that next. To add the floor stack, just add triangles around the base. And I'll be showing you how to place these now. As you can see, we're getting red on these, too close to another building. That's because these are offset this direction. And so the solution that we're going to employ is we're going to offset the floor stack a little bit. We can remove these excess foundations on the outside. And you really just need this one for now. And to begin, we're going to offset this one straight this way. I'm going to start with nine and see if that fixes it. And it did. Make sure you can place those walls. And then replace it. And there you go, you have your floor stack honeycomb. You need to make sure you connect to the base now. So now you can see we've done almost the entire floor stack honeycomb, but one wall doesn't want to place. So how are we going to fix that? Well, there's a couple different ways. The first thing I'm going to try is offsetting it away from the base, which is going to be in this direction. I always like to start by testing nine. And you can see it works perfectly. Has plenty of stability, no issues there. You can delete your build out. Place that one too. Now your entire floor stack honeycomb is ready to be upgraded. You can upgrade it and not worry about blocking anything because you can get these walls from inside and these walls obviously from outside. Here is your core upgraded and we're going to go ahead and add the floor stack layer inside I like
like to place a floor frame here to prevent accidents when sealing your bunker. Here is your essentially finished core. It just needs to be upgraded to whatever build grade you plan on using. What I like to do is usually upgrade this top layer of floor to HQM and then the bottom layer to sheet metal. That way, when you place your bunker here, it's HQM. You're definitely going through HQM and then they don't get everything exposed unless they go through another layer of sheet metal. These walls, depending on your situation in game you might make these loot rooms hqm or you might leave them sheet metal and you'll probably leave the walls above your pixel gaps sheet metal because these will be walled and windowed up here you'll only be able to place a frame on one side so i recommend making the other side a loot room Something else I also recommend doing is taking your offset height foundation and doing your best to build it back into your base. With these inside, what you're able to do is place a floor there and a floor there and use it for more pixel gaps later on. Go ahead and upgrade those so they don't get broken by a teammate who doesn't understand the importance of those specific tiles. When you're ready, go ahead and start sheet metaling. There you have your sheet metal core for these sheet metal. And it would be the same to go through two sheet metal here as an HQM. Same thing here, here, and here. What I do tend to HQM are these back walls on the windowed loot rooms. So like to just continue with the offset height triangles. Here you have your core with spots for your boxes. You can easily hop up here and do these loot rooms how you like them. Something like that is what I normally go with. For these ones, Obviously, you have to be able to access the pixel gaps, but you can still place boxes as you see fit. Finally, you should upgrade at least this these inner triangles to HQM. And these outer triangles, depending on how you want to do it, can be HQM or sheet metal. I like to HQM the top layer entirely, but you might want to just HQM above these loot rooms, for example. This is what it would look like if you only HQM'd above the window loot rooms. Well, let me know what you think of the core and subscribe for parts two and three, where I will add the carry bunkers. This base is bunkered on every floor and the shell and the roof and all that. That's about it for now, and uh, have a good one.